updated polish storage, as well as some baby proofing ideas I have by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone, in today's video I am going to be addressing another one of my most asked questions. And this one was actually asked more back right after Melody was born and less now, but I still felt like it would be the appropriate time to talk about it. And that question is, how am I baby proofing and protecting Melody from nail chemicals and all of that fun stuff? And for the most part, I have a nail source capture system that takes care of nail chemicals as I'm doing it and I do it after she goes to bed so that there's no uh, scent residue, there's, it takes care of all of that. So that stuff is handled. But the thing we're getting into now is that she is becoming more and more mobile. As you can imagine, that is causing problems a little bit for nail stuff as previously I had a nice little shelving unit that had all of my stuff, no drawers really, no locks, nothing of that nature. And that's going to be a problem coming up here soon. And I am in the process of getting a new whole cabinetry system with locks and a new nail table. But until that happens, and even I've got other stuff like my gel polish that needs to be protected, so I'm going to be showing you guys some of my new storage systems. And I'll probably do another video soon enough that we'll have the rest of it. But to start with, I'm going to show you a nail box, that, or a polish carrier box, which wouldn't necessarily even be for if you're trying to baby proof stuff, but it could also be for cat proofing because that's also an issue at my house. And it could be for traveling or even just to keep things organized. So I'll be showing you guys that box and I'll be showing you guys my rolling cart that I also, that was actually a Christmas gift for me that is so helpful for this. And also just keeping things together and keeping everything organized and easy to use. And so yeah, I hope this helps any of you out and answers some questions. And don't forget to comment if you have any other questions that you're curious about. I can definitely help you out as best I can and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well so to begin with here is the organizer that I mentioned and it holds up to 48 bottles but I'm going to not put not fill it up to the max I actually just put in for starters I'm just going to put in my pinks and my my uh, pinks and purples so I've got my little nail cards that I just uh, filled out here so I've got all my gel colors painted on little swatches and they're all numbered which has been amazing and even if you guys just have a larger collection this is so great just to know what you have even if it's not like a concern for showing to clients if it's just for your own personal use it's still really nice to have this and I would highly recommend it so I'm just going to take and I'm going to put all my colors in by number and put them in like I said I'm doing pinks and purples those are two of the colors I have the most of pinks purples and greens uh, my favorite colors shocker that I have the most of those hilarious anyways I'm just going to fill in these little compartments and this storage case is feels super heavy duty like it's really going to hold up well the bottles even my Madame Glam bottles that are a little bit bigger seem like they fit perfectly in there that was actually a concern of mine you know nail polish bottles are all slightly different sizes and you never know what's going to fit into something like this but all of them fit really well so wasn't a worry so I'm closing that up and then on the outside of it with a sharpie I'm going to be writing the numbers that they are so my cards I don't have them starting with one on the card so my colors don't start where you would think so they start at 25 and then they go up so I have 25 and 26 27 and I could keep going, but you guys pretty much know how to count, so I don't necessarily need to go on like this. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, you write your numbers on, then what if you change what's in there? I have found that in general, you can erase Sharpies really, really well with a dry erase marker. So I'm not, especially off a surface like this. In fact, I initially started out where I wrote 26, 27, 28. So I redid a whole bunch of these numbers. I did them twice. And it just removed really easy by coloring over it or drawing over it, I suppose, with a dry erase marker like an expo and then you can just wipe it right off and it goes away so that wasn't really a worry with me but if you wanted to you could just use a like a label maker with little stickers and that also works as you can see I've got all my bottles all my polished bottles in there labeled with little green labels little st number stickers and that's kind of I'm an organized person in my head a lot I like to think that I am sometimes things get hectic but I'm very I'm very excited by things like label makers in fact the my label maker that I used to label these bottles when I was I want to say like 12 I'm thinking it was 12 <laughs> for Christmas all I wanted was a label maker which I know I'm a weirdo but that was like this dream thing I was like I could label everything and I labeled all of my dresser drawers and I labeled my like my backpack I labeled Katie's backpack 
because that was just the kind of thing that I did. But here's my little rolling cart, and this is from Michael's. And um, I think they're marketed kind of towards teachers, but they work perfectly for nail supplies. So I've got different colors in the middle compartment. I've got like nail towels and manicure implements in the bottom with that little cover on them. And then in the top, I've got my my card of color, my color swatches, as well as primer, dehydrator, bonder, uh, base coat, top coat, a couple different kinds of top coat, matte top coat, forms, cuticle oil, all of those little things that you need access to constantly are all in the top there. And this whole thing has been just such a help. And that cart, the plan is to roll that into a closet. So when I'm not using it, that can just go zoom right into a closet. And we don't have to worry about it. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope that it's going to help you guys out. And even if you're not baby proofing, but just some organizing ideas, because you can always use those. And please comment with any questions you have. I am more than happy to answer them as soon as I can and I will see you in my next video. Bye!